Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So in our previous model, we are learning about the agent based model. So we'll be we'll begin from where we left in the previous video. We'll continue developing our model by defining consumer characteristics and behavior. The best way we can define a behavior is to use a state chart. So let's talk about state chart. State charts are the most advanced construct for describing event and time driven behavior. For some object, this event and time ordering of operations is so pervasive that we can best characterize their behavior using a state transition diagram, a state chart. State charts have states and transitions. The state chart states are alternative, which means the object can only be in one state at a time. A transition execution may lead to a state change that makes a new set of transitions active. The structures state may be hierarchical. They may contain still other states and transitions. One agent may have several structures that describe independent parts of the agent's behavior. So if we go to the palette, we will find state chart here are the elements so we will define a consumer's behavior as a two state sequence a consumer is in the potential user state is only potentially interested in buying the product a consumer is the user state in the user state has purchased the product okay so the potential user state and the user state in the project view we open the consumer diagram So, we will be defining the consumer's behavior as a two-state sequence, as I mentioned earlier, the potential customer and the user. So, a customer in the potential user state is only potentially interested in buying the product. So, it has not bought the product yet. It, is a pot it has the potential to buy a product. And the consumer in the user state has already purchased the product. Okay. So, in the project's view, we are going to go to the project view. Um, open the consumer diagram by double clicking on it. So here is the consumer agent type. We are going to double click on it. <coughs> so the consumer Graphical editor has opened. So this was the space for the main environment and this is the space within the consumer environment. Okay. So how do we know what agent type we are editing? Since our model has two agent type, we may wonder which agent type we are editing in the graphical editor. AnyLogic selects the type of the agent type we have opened in the graphical editor and emphasizes its item in the project's tree. See the figure below. You can see the consumer is highlighted in deep blue color compared to the main. If I click on the main, the color will change. So we can tell from this we are in the consumer environment. We can navigate between two graphical diagrams of different agent of different agent types by clicking the tab names, for example, main and consumer in the example below. So, start drawing a state chart by drawing two states. So, we'll be going to the palette. And as I showed earlier, we can visit this state chart. And we are going to be dragging two states. This will be the state. And we are going to have a structured entry point from where the process will begin. I'm going to connect it. Okay, the connection is done. So this is the structured entry point. So we can now see how any logic has highlighted the structured entry point in red. It means the entry point is not connected to any state. 
Okay, so this this is red because the structure is not connected to any state. So if we connect it to a state, it will turn blue. So let's add the first state in the consumer state chart. Drag the state from the state chart palette to the graphical diagram and connect it to the state chart entry point. Okay, so select the state in the graphical editor and modify its properties. Name the state potential consumer or user. Potential user. Okay, I'm going to resize this state. Readjust location of the text. I'm going to uh, fill the color to lavender. Okay. I have the following Java code in the state's entry action. This is the entry action. So in it, we are going to uh, write the following code. Shape body dot set fill color and write the name of the color okay so done so we can also use the code completion assistant just clicking on the uh, control plus space okay so the entry action is executed where when consumer switches to another state this code displays the state change by changing the consumer animation color here shape body is the name of the consumers animation shape let's go to the consumer here we can say the state chart in the work tree uh, here <coughs> Let's click on the presentation. Okay, shape body. So here, shape body is the name of the consumer's animation shape that the new agent wizard created. If you expand the consumer's presentation branch in the project tree, you will see the shape body shape inside the person group. Okay, here we call the function of shape body to access the elements function. Tap the elements shape body type a dot, and then use the code completion feature to list the elements function or select the function name. On the list set fill color is one of the standard shapes function that allows you to dynamically change the shapes fill color it takes just one argument a new color <coughs> so we are going to add a new state place it just beneath the potential user and i'm going to rename it to user okay user and I'm going to set the fill color to yellow green. <coughs> and on the entry action, I'm going to write shape body dot control space. And the code completion assistant will pop up. Here we can see set fill color here. Set fill color. I'm going to double click on it. Okay. The argument I have to put is yellow green. Only one parameter. <coughs> okay. So now we are going to draw a transition from potential user. Here is the transition potential user to user state to model how persons purchase the product and become product users to do so double click the state chart palette transition element the elements palette icon should change to this one click the potential user state and click user okay so we are going to rename the name of this transition to add Ad will be representing advertise, advertisement. So select the show name. It will show the name of the transition. 
we are going to set at a rate of add we have set the parameter add effectiveness all, uh, already I'm going to set it to add effectiveness I'm going to set it to per day Okay, so now we can see that the icon drawn over the transition has changed from time to so this uh, symbol means trigger, okay, trigger type. To move the transition name or icon, select the transition and <coughs> we can use our mouse to drag the con uh, text where we want it to go. Our transition here is triggered with the specified rate in our case when the structure enters the state potential user a draw from the exponential distribution is made and the timeout is set up each consumer's adoption time will differ through an average one percentage of potential users will buy the product on a given day <coughs> now let's set up Now let's set up the model time unit. To tune the model setting, switch from palette to projects. We'll be going to the project here. Click on the project. Click on the market. Here you can say, see the model time unit. We have already set it to model time unit, uh, days at the beginning of defining the model. Okay, so let's save it. Okay, so let's now run the model. So you can see this is our main potential users of 5000 consumers and as the advertising is running our potential users are converting to users that means they are buying the product okay so if I speed this up I'm going to click here I'm going to speed it up to 10x 10 times faster than the original speed you can see the potential users are being converted to users state okay so that's it uh, for today if you find this video helpful if you find this video helpful please like our video, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. If you face any difficulties while creating your model, you can leave a comment below. I'll be glad to answer those. So thank you and have a good day.